Bless you. <laughs> oh, four. Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo. Very crowded, train folks. Standing room conditions very likely at this particular stop. If you're looking for business class, we last two cars. Last two cars for business class. Mid to the floor is unreserved coach and general seating is located upstairs. If you can make it up the stairs. <laughs> Here is the reason why everybody takes the train. The Pacific Ocean. It's like a shipwreck. I believe that's a shipwreck. Anyways, here's the coast. What is arguably the best part of any train ride on a surfliner? The reason why it's number one train in the country. Did they build a railroad this close to the tracks? It's impressive. And that's the last of the coast up until Santa Barbara. The, the ride is, I'm getting off at the next station of Fullerton, but I have to say this, to the conductor working on 777, thank you so much. The he kept, so there was a drunk guy on the train. He was acting so strange and he was a little over the top drunk. We got to Santa Ana. It was this erratic behavior. When the conductor saw him, he was like, sir, come with me. And then he got kicked off at Santa Ana. You act strange on the Amtrak, you get kicked off. It's that bottom line. Yeah, he was bothering a lot of people, including myself. So yeah, conductor kicked him off. So to the conductor working on 777. Thank you for kicking him off.
here's the end of the trip crate. Another H1. Wow. Man, that was a good train. H1 1055 at the front, trailing third, and 983 H1 in the back. Shoving it. There it goes eastbound. All right. Here is a westbound high priority Z train. Finally an eastbound. A fake bonnet and an ace. Nice. Uh Construction is over, so now freaks will pick back up. Here's a free dream. Norfolk Southern, nice. Westbound intermodal with something good, fourth engine. Nice executive Mac.
And one more thing also I have to say, after me going, after a, like a hundred train trips of rail fanning, like I have to say this, if you have a rollerboard, please put your rollerboard or any big suitcase, there's three luggage racks on the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner. There's a luggage rack next to the door, downstairs next to the door. There's a luggage rack up the stairs next to the lab, next to the restroom up the stairs, next to the sliding door that goes in between the cars. That's the second option. And third, up above their seat, there's plenty of room. So please don't hog seats with rollerboards. It is so annoying when I get on the train and the conductor says standing room only. And then you see there's empty seats, but people just have their feet on it, one, or rollerboards on it. So please put your rollerboards up and don't put your feet on the seats. So I'm here at my computer editing my trip report that I'm going to post for National Train Day. Because May 11th is National Train Day. Um, Amtrak established it back in 2008. But anyways, um, yeah. Um, oh yeah, about this, I, I felt like I needed to continue about my story about the drunk guy on the train. So yeah, the drunk, there was a drunk guy on the Amtrak train last week, Amtrak 777. He apparently had, my friend from high school, was the guy standing next to me, who said, by somehow, was like, um, he said he had two cans of Modelo, drank two cans of Modelo, and then drank a third one, pulled out a Modelo from his bag, and then drank it. And then he got kicked off the train at Santa Ana. The conductor was like, sir, come with me. So to the conductor working that train, uh, 777, thank you. He was bothering a lot of people, including myself.